Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Max Weiss and Joseph Henry Blackburn. This game was played in New York in 1889. Max Weiss had white pieces and he started with e4. Joseph Henry Blackburn played d5, the Scandinavian defense. e takes on d5. Knight to f6. Queen takes on d5 is very often played, and then white plays knight to c3. Knight to f6, daring white to defend the pawn. d4 was played. If c4, then black plays c6, and after d takes on c6, knight takes on c6, and black has a compensation for a sacrificed pawn. Back to our game. d4. Queen takes on d5. Knight to c3 attacking the queen. Queen to a5. Knight to f3. c6. Knight to e5. Challenging the knight on e5. Knight to c4 attacking the queen. What is the best square for the queen? Blackburn played. Queen to d8. Bishop to e2. Black to move. G6 was played. Another way to go is E6. G6, white to move. Perhaps developing of the white dark square bishop comes to mind. But Max Weiss wanted to attack. He played D5. C takes on D5. Knight takes on D5. Knight takes on D5. Queen takes on D5. And white is standing better. Or maybe this is just an optical illusion. What do you think? Which side do you prefer? Black to move. Bishop to g7. What else? White to move. Perhaps again developing of the white dark square bishop comes to mind. But Max Weiss played h4, intending to open h file and to checkmate black king somewhere on the h file should black castle kingside or not would he be castling into it what would you do well blackburn castled kingside h5 this is a very important moment of the game what would you do in this position if you had black pieces blackburn played the best move looks very ordinary but it works well. Simple and effective. Attacking the queen, offering to exchange queens. Queen takes queen. Perhaps queen to g5 should have been considered, but then black may play queen to d5, again offering to exchange queens. Back to our game. Queen takes on d8. Rook takes on d8. H takes on g6 h takes on g6 opening of the h file with the queens of the board is not so dangerous for black is it black has also a better pawn structure a little bit better because of that pawn on e7 bishop to d3 bishop to e6 bishop to d2 rook from a to c8 threatening bishop takes knight knight to e5 and now simple chess, not allowing white knight to see there, knight to d7, knight takes on d7, rook takes on d7. And how to defend that pawn on b2? Bishop to c1 was played, c3 has a tiny tiny downside, and that is rook takes on d3. So we have bishop to c1. What happened to white's attack? Who is better now, white or black? Black has activated all of his pieces and white only half of his army. And perhaps the best white piece is bishop on d3. So, Blackburn played bishop to c4 intending to exchange the best white piece. Rook to h3, bishop takes on d3, 
root takes on d3, root takes on d3, c takes on d3. White has three pawn islands and black too. Does that mean that white is rich in pawn islands? Or maybe this is a disadvantage. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Black when played, the obvious. Invasion on the second rank. Threatening bishop takes on b2, maybe. Rook to b1. How would you continue now if you had black pieces? Bishop to d4 was played. Threatening, bishop takes on f2, or maybe rook takes on f2. How to defend? Bishop to d2 was played. If f3, then rook takes on g2. Bishop to d2, black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Black when played, rook takes on b2. Even bishop takes on f2 is good. But what about bishop takes on b2? Is that a good move too? If bishop takes on b2, then white wins the game by playing king to d1. Okay, back to our game. We have bishop to d2, rook takes on b2, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook. The dust has settled. And black is a pawn up in a very simple position. But the game is not over yet. White is hoping for a draw. Bishop to e3, a6, king to d2, king to f8, king to c2, bishop to e5, king to b3, king to e8, king to c4, king to d7, king to c5, intending king to b6. How to prevent that? There are two ways. King to c7 and bishop to c7. Bishop to c7 was played, perhaps intending to bring black king in the center of the board. At this stage, white king is better placed than black king. Do you agree? f3, not doing anything special, just placing his pawns on the color opposite of his opponent's bishop. e6 a4, b6 check, pushing white king back, king to c4, king to c6, and from this point on, black patiently improves his position. Bishop to f2, f6, bishop to e3, bishop to d6, nothing wild. Bishop to d4, e5, bishop to e3, and now b5 creating a passed pawn. A takes on b5, check, A takes on b5, check. King to b3, king to d5. And black king is now better placed than white king. Bishop to f2, f5, king to c3, g5, g4. F takes on g4, f takes on g4, bishop to c5, offering to exchange bishops. Offer declined. If bishop takes on c5, king takes on c5, and white can resign. After king to c2, king to d4, king to d2, b4. Easily winning for black. So we have bishop to e1, e4, d takes on e4, king takes on e4, approaching the pawn on g4. Bishop to d2, threatening bishop takes pawn on g5. Bishop to e3, bishop to e1, king to f3, king to b4, king takes on g4. King takes on b5, king to f3, king to c4. Past pawns must be pushed. g4, king to d3, bishop to f2, bishop to a5 g3, bishop to c7, g2, bishop to h2, bishop to b6, king to d2, black, play the move, and white resigned. 
the move is king to g4. Is king to f2 also winning? After king to d3, black's best move in this position is king to f3. What is wrong with bishop to c7? Can white take the bishop or not? Yes, he can. Then bishop takes on c7. And after pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Check. And after king moves somewhere, draw. Back to our game. So, Blackburn played. King to g4. And Max Weiss resigned. One line goes like this. King to e2. King to h3. Bishop goes somewhere. Pawn is pushed and promoted to something like queen. And on this level, it should be enough to win the game. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.